Friday night saw two MVC heavyweights battle it out for supremacy. And when the dust cleared, it was number six North Andover that came out victorious, downing the number 13 Tewksbury Redmen 40 to 20. It was a case of the Friday night daylights as the 3-0 MVC Titans kicked things off at six o'clock in order to prepare for the annual North Andover homecoming dance. The Redmen offense got right to work, taking advantage of a North Andover three and out on their first drive. Quarterback Jay Conley completed several passes, and eventually Kyle Zervis pounded the ball in for a quick 7-0 Tewksbury lead. After a rare Jake McElroy interception the following drive, the Knights saw themselves in unusual territory. We just came out flat. Um, definitely didn't come out how we wanted to. Following the sluggish start, Walsh and the coaching staff got right to work, and quickly the team woke up. In the second corner, running back Darren Watson tied the game at 7 apiece to get the Knights on board. Immediately after, Mark Federico returned a blown up reverse fumble to the house for 28 yards. From there on out, the Knights never trailed again. Obviously that's, that's where we want to be most of the time, is ahead, um, but it's the first time we've been down all season, but we fought back, um, and then our, our plan was basically just keep that lead. They all put, a, put together a great game plan. We, we just came out and executed. The big story from the game was junior running back Freddie Gabin, who filled in for star back J.D. Allen. Gabin finished the day with 146 yards on 16 carries, and pounded in two scores in the second half. With Allen suffering from concussion-like symptoms, Gavin said when it was time for him to get the rock, he was more than prepared to take over. Uh, it was just next man up. When I heard about it in practice, uh, Coach Harry told me about it, to just keep my head up, keep running, I'll be fine in the game. One thing's for sure with Gavin and the rest of the Scarlet Knights, ranked opponent or not, they'll be back at practice the following Monday. I mean, we just practice hard every day. It ain't nothing different from every other team. Just practice 100% every single day, and then we'll get the W. With their win over the Redmen, the Knights advance to 4-0 on the season, while Tewksbury drops to 3-1. Next week, they'll look to continue on their winning ways, taking on the Chumsford Lions. From Joe Wall Stadium, I'm Sam Murray.